Man United, pay whatever the fuck it takes to get David De Gea to sign a contract at this club. He made two insane saves to ultimately give us the three points. Now, this game is just a typical away day for United this season. It is ridiculous, all right? We, we create chances, no penetration. As schools said at half time, it's pointless possession football. And that's all it was today. Passing sideways. Yes, we tried to find through balls, but they just ultimately didn't work. I screamed my fucking house down when Young scored. It was a ridiculous lapse of defending from Newcastle. I think Gufran uh, tried to pass it to Perez. Perez passes it to Krul. Krul passes it to Young, and Young slots it in. Literally, I screamed my house down as the 89th minute because we needed these points. And why? Because because Liverpool won, Chelsea won, I know they're miles ahead, but still, Man City won, um, who haven't I mentioned, Liverpool, Arsenal, Spurs, Southampton, everyone won, Arsenal, have I mentioned them, I don't know, but literally everyone won in the top seven, so we needed to win, and ultimately we did, but it was another dire performance in all honesty, and Louis van Gaal, I'm backing him, I'm still backing him, I've backed him since he's joined, but some of the decisions today, I mean, right, take Di Maria, for example, all right, wasn't playing amazing, but was creating stuff, all right, and just before he was taken off, he created a couple of chances to score for Rooney, he uh, tried to put a cross in, etc., things like that, and he was creating things, and he just looked as though he was getting some confidence, some momentum, and he brings him off for Yanazai. Young was terrible this game, all right, Young's been great all season, was terrible this game, we just can't seem to find any consistency, but of course, he got the goal in the end, so... Thank God for that. But yeah, he brings him off. And later on, I really didn't understand this, all right? As much as I love Michael Carrick, all right? He gets brought on instead of Radamel Falco, who's left on the bench when it's nil-nil, 87 minutes gone. I just don't understand some of the decisions from Louis van Gaal. Mata was brought on 10 minutes from the end. I mean, what use is that? Juan Mata, one of our most creative players, all right, in a nil-nil draw, is brought on in the 80th minute. We got lucky. Again, we got lucky, and we got the result done. I mean, earlier on, we should have scored. Rooney missed two glorious opportunities, all right? I'll start from the beginning. So, right from the off, about one minute in, Di, um, Di Maria ends up running f uh, through, and he just he doesn't know what to do. Does he pass to Rooney? Does he shoot? No, he keeps dribbling, gets tackled, and that's the end of that chance. So, um, shortly after that, Newcastle get a blatant penalty. Chris Smalling, you fucking idiot, all right? You've been brilliant ever since your red card against City. But terrible defending. It brings him down in the box. Clear penalty. Luckily for us, wasn't given. But on the other side of that, we had an offside goal that was onside with Rooney. A great ball from Di Maria through into Rooney on the last man. In fairness to the linesman, it's a really hard decision. But he's onside ultimately. Scores. Doesn't count, so penalty decision not given, offside goal, 1-1 one, one in that respect, so, you know, even for that, in my opinion, but yeah, we created some other chances, as I said, Di Maria got another chance into Rooney, and he just couldn't find his feet and slotted wide, I just... Honestly, this season, I don't get our players. I really don't, all right? The ones that perform in this game, like that have been performing all season young, was terrible today. Fair enough, he scored. First goal in a year, I think, which is great for his confidence. But still, he wasn't that good. Fellaini wasn't that good. Rooney wasn't that good. Herrera didn't have his best game, all right? He was doing very well in the midfield, but didn't like he lost the ball a couple of times. And what annoys me about um, Di Maria in particular, all right? Whenever he makes a mistake, it seems to always, always give the opposition a chance. I mean, you look at today, he uh, a misplaced pass and Newcastle break, three on one, and Sissoko puts it wide, or Cissé, I can't remember, all right? So, yeah, I just, I don't know about United this season. It's just ridiculous. A fourth away win. Thank fuck we got the three points. That's all that matters in the end. At the end of the season, it's not going to matter how we played. It's going to matter where we finish. And currently, we're fourth. Liverpool, two points behind us. And now, we've got our crunch two months. We've got Arsenal in the cup. We've got Spurs. We've got Liverpool. Um, Spurs is at home. Liverpool is away. Then we've got Villa at home. Little bit of a breather. Then we've got City and Chelsea away. And they are games we have to win. And then the second last game of the season is against Arsenal. And that is at Old Trafford. And that potentially is a top four decider. Because if Liverpool keep going the way they are going, it's going to be them who's going to take third. 
and that pains me to say it, but it's true. Hopefully their purple patch can end and we can start a purple patch in these ridiculously hard games we've got coming. So yeah, I bet you're relieved if you're a Manchester United fan. You'll be pissed if you're a Newcastle fan because that must be how most of the season pans out. You throw it away in the end and yeah, good and for you. On a positive note for Newcastle, I didn't mention this because of the heroics at the end of the game, but... Good to see Jonas Gutierrez being back in football after beating testicular cancer. Really good to see. He got subbed on and uh, <laughs> within a few minutes got booked. But still, he was given the captain's armband. Great mark of respect there from John Carver. So, yeah. Anyway, we got the result done and uh, that's that's all that matters. We're fourth at the minute. On to a ridiculously hard run of games. Let's hope our form improves.